What is up you guys, welcome back to the challenge. You can see we're working on the SI again and we're solving the second Boomba Racing part we have right here. So we're gonna go ahead, see, just a little quick up, up tap action. You see here, we got that ooh, nice black Boomba Racing fuel rail for the HN here. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go ahead and install this, seems simple enough. But again, we'll take you through the steps. You're gonna need shop towels just in case any fuel gets anywhere or you wanna be, you know, careful with the fuel getting anywhere. But all you're really gonna need is a 10 mil and a 12 mil. That's all you're really gonna need and that's it. So let's go ahead and start getting with the disassemble. All right guys, so first things first, of course, remove the negative terminal from your battery. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove the cover here, which is all 10 mil. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing that right now. All right guys, seeing that, took out the cover, you can see right here, the fuel rail itself. So we're gonna go ahead and start disconnecting all the little connectors and this whole plastic assembly. But first, you take off this ground, which is also a 10 mil. So let's go ahead and start doing this. All right, with the ground disconnected, we're gonna go ahead and start moving all these little clips. Just push, just pinch on the sides, and it should pop right off. And then right here on the sides, these little tabs right here, just pull to the side, should come right off for the harness. There you go, you just put it to the side, somewhere where it won't bother you. So here it is, the fuel rail by itself. So right here we got two 12 millimeters, and of course, we're gonna have to disconnect. Uh, so you see the fuel rail that's over here, so with this, you just take off the plastic cover that's on top of it. You see, there's a little green thing holding the fuel rail together. Take that off, we just have to pinch both sides on the top and the bottom, just pull, and the green tab should stay on the fuel rail itself. But first, we're gonna go ahead and remove these 12 mils. All right, guys, so we go ahead and set up the area. Once we pop the fuel rail, if any fuel squirts out, it's gonna hit the paper towels, not inside the engine bay itself. But yeah, we can go ahead and start moving that little green tab and take off this fuel rail. All right, you guys saw that. Some fuel actually squirted out and luckily we were prepared for the area. So some actually scored up, so we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning around the area where I feel there's excess amount of fuel. All right, so I tried the best I can to clean the area. So with that, with that disconnected, literally, you just have to pull up and you should pretty much do some brute force. Just pull up. Just pull up and you saw that comes right off and angle it and fuel is still coming out. Puss on the on the ground facing up so the jigs don't make ever stuck and just go ahead and clean there yeah I saw some fuel fall off. Just clean the best you can but we're gonna go ahead and get some shop towels and cover those holes just in case anything gets in there so we can prevent that. As you guys see here, we have the old fuel rail right with the injectors. So we're gonna go ahead and start moving the injectors. As you can see right here, the back, there's a little clip right here that you can probably pry with the flathead or anything you have flat. And it should pop off and the jerks should come right out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right guys, as you saw that, kind of, kind of did it off screen, but these injectors are pretty hard to pop off. You just have to pull. You see a little tab right here, but looks like eventually the little boost turn wore off. Probably sooner, I'll probably change these injectors, but we're gonna work what we have right now. But that's the way out of these little injectors, just pull them out and they come right off. So we're gonna go ahead and install these in the new Boomba one. All right guys, so it's more difficult than I thought. You really have to push the injector, like how it is hanging out, which is brute force, but you can see, 
caught in there. You see the little tab is up in there. So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do that for all of them and I'll catch you guys in a bit. You guys, you can see here, we have the injectors back in and the green clip. We transferred everything from the old fuel roll to the new fuel roll. So we're gonna go ahead and install this back in the SI. Okay guys, so one thing I did want to point out, you do have to take off this little plastic thing as the cables will sit in here, as you can see, like so. So you don't, and with that little plastic part, they don't really fit inside of this whole thing. So just go ahead and remove that plastic part as you can see I'm doing. So let's continue go ahead and uh, assembling this bad boy back to place. As you can see here, we finally have all hooked up and everything and the negative terminal. So go ahead, so before we actually start the car, we're gonna go ahead and prime it three times and we're gonna start it and check for any leaks anywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and yeah, call it a day. As you guys, as you see, we finally have it installed nice and going. Ooh, pretty nice boom of fuel rail. So it's pretty full straightforward install. One thing you are gonna have to do is probably just stretch the, stretch the fuel line hose to stretch it more up this way so it can hit. But as you see, it's all good, no leaks. So that's it for today, guys. We're gonna call it a day and just wait for more parts for the system to install. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.